Ryan, you got a lot of balls sitting at this podcast table with me. Why? We got a bone to pick. Oh, why? I'm not happy with you. I, I, I'm get picking that up. Why? <laughs> well, we'll just start from the top. Oh, give everyone the context. This. I got a DM from a podcast listener actually, and he goes, "Yo, I am a photographer for Willow. She's on tour with MGK, and we're gonna be in Fargo tonight. Do you guys want extra tickets? You guys can all pull up to the show." Hell yeah, let's do it. Super last minute, we all go to the MGK concert. Me, Ken, Evan, Ryan, and our girlfriends, Greta and Alondra. I'm there having a good time. I was the sober DD driver that thank, night. Thank you for that. So I'm just, uh, you know, just taking everything in. I'm taking the concert in. All my friends are over there having a good time, getting drunk. I'm watching it all play out. And when you're the sober one, you're like, man... So this is what we look like drunk, huh? Well, next thing I know, Ryan's slapping my girlfriend's ass. It was a fucking accident, dude. Yeah, I'll just was, skip to it. He was loving that song, man. I'll just skip to it. it Ryan was not slaps like Greta's that, ass. Dude. Well, she's going to be shaking and Ryan's going to slap her. <laughs> so I'm, you know, pretty caught off guard. I'm like, did I just see that right? Did he slap Alondra's ass too or not? Yeah, I at least Oh, you were, you were doing both. I was both. Yeah, he was, was going for the whole, train. He was playing the whole. fucking drums over there. Yeah, and I'm like... Whoa! And he's like, well, first, he looks at me and goes, yeah, you like that? I did not, I did not do that. And he thought that I was going to match the same energy, you know? He, he was thinking you brought a pineapple with. Yeah, yeah. He, he like, you know, kind of gives me the head nod. Well, I didn't, I didn't have that same energy. And he's like, oh, oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. What did Greta do? Oh, she was, you know, ex- felt extremely violated. Did she really? No, not really. But <laughs> <laughs> I heard Wait. she was cool with it. Whoa. <laughs> she even said, she even thanked him after. What the fuck? Tried slipping him a five. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a five. <laughs> so, you know, Ryan's one of my best friends. I'll let it slide. It was an accident. It, he keeps saying that. I'm not sure if it was. I'll let it slide. You know, we're business partners. At the end of the day, I really can't hold the grudge against him because I got to be with him every day. Right. Mm-hmm. But next time, Laundra's shaking and you're going to slap her ass. <laughs> well, let's just say that was the uh, second worst thing he did that night. <laughs> oh. What the hell were you doing, Ryan? Dude, yeah. I had like three beers. Yeah, I was he, was, loose. He, was, he was acting fool. Like I said, I was the DD that night. I don't know what they put in in those drinks, but they were strong. You guys blacked. Yeah, Ken, yeah. Ken got in the car and was sitting front seat, and he was telling me to take turns that went to a dead end. I thought we were in a different spot, and I was like, "Oh, just go straight. You can get out this way." Yes, yeah, yeah. Clearly, yeah. Ken I was, was wrong. hammered. Ken was hammered. He's anyway, like, I'm driving. Ken's trying to be the backseat driver, telling me where to go. Everything he said was just wrong. Like, mm-hmm. like you go, hey, McDonald's is open. Let's just pull in and, and go in. I well, go, it's not li- open. There's the nobody inside on. right now. It says closed. And he's like, no, it's not. Goes and checks the door, locked. Then he gets back in and he's like, if you're not going to take my advice, I'm going to stop giving it. And I go, please, <laughs> shut up. Stop talking. Stop telling me what to do. Everything you've said has been wrong. And he's just hammered. Gets out. Waving around. Gets out. Takes Getting a, loose. Yeah, he's taking a piss in front of everyone in the... I was oh, in my the God. Yard. In the bushes. In the lines. I was in Every the time, I was like, Ken, we're in town. You can't just do Dude, this. I was you in can't the bushes. do this. You, you did you catch time. a charge. Yeah. We should get Ken a shirt, and it says Barney Peanut just says public urination. <laughs> <laughs> public urination. <laughs> you did do that one time in front of Zorba's, too. You faced right the, the fucking dock, people dude. that were eating. There's families there's and children out there. There's a giant hill in between the dock and the, the, the restaurant. The dock isn't that long. It's like 45 feet. There was kids. What about the kids swimming in the swimming area at the end of the dock? Ken's peeing on there their faces. There is no swimming area at the end of that dock. Ken, you have been listening to a lot of R. Kelly lately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we go through the McDonald's drive through line. Everyone in the back seat is so ham bony. They're like, I want 15 of everything. Oh my god! Our tab was only sixty dollars. So we get a bunch of stuff, right? I'm, I'm like, the only god thing I want it, is a crispy chicken sandwich. <laughs> it's the only thing I want. I want a crispy chicken sandwich and a water. Mm-hmm. One o'clock. I have to wake up at five thirty tomorrow morning and start editing. I just yep. want a crispy chicken sandwich and a water. I want to get home. I want to yep. go to bed, right? I just want this fucking crispy chicken sandwich. We get the meal. 
Ryan grabs my crispy chicken sandwich and takes a bite out of it. He didn't even order a crispy chicken sandwich. Wow. Ah. Uh, there's this just no excuse Honestly, here. Honestly, the there's other just one, there no was an excuse. excuse, but this one was fucked up. It's a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Slapping his girlfriend. He dad. takes my crispy chicken sandwich, it was takes a, a bite out of it, again, looks at me and smiles. Did not. Did not. That's what it felt like. I'm sure he did, though. I go, hey, where's my crispy chicken sandwich? Ryan goes, oh, this one? Holds it up with a bite out of it. <laughs> a bite out of it. And then the guy has the audacity to go, oh, hand this up to Ben. So then I get my crispy chicken sandwich that I've been looking forward to with a fucking bite out of it. It was a big bite, too. I was hungry. Half Knowing that Ryan had just violated everything that... Just <laughs> just the disrespect he had for me that night. The first one was an accident, and so was the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Someone handed me a crispy chicken sandwich, and I went, mm, this looks really good, because we ordered for hold like up, 15 hold up, minutes. Hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Did Greta hand you that crispy chicken sandwich? Mm, no, I'm pretty sure it was Alondra. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, Jeez, we got a problem. Animals. We got a problem if that's the case. <laughs> then I was going to say, Ryan, you've been baited. Can I, just, I, can I just ask one thing? Yeah. Ryan, how the hell did you accidentally slap Dude, I don't right? know. I, I literally don't know. It just like I walked back and I hit Alondra and then it just... I it just you saw it another happened. one. I you saw another one. Just one. <laughs> Never in my life have I ever done anything like that and I did it and my like blood ran cold. I, like, <laughs> I was like, Greta, turn around. Just the second I did it, I just was like... Oh, did Greta turn fuck. around though? She like turned around and then I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's Ryan standing there like, <laughs> holding like a beer I'm like I look at Ben I go I'm sorry I'm sorry and he's like what because he hadn't even realized what happened what did I say I, I just apologized a lot and I think she said it was okay just be nice you know it was it was bad it was That's a bad night funny. what did Laundry do she thought it was funny no dude she beat my ass holy shit yeah, just she's like mad. you were doing to Greta <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a pretty funny story to tell you guys so uh, obviously what you guys know but the podcast listeners don't so my girlfriend works at a plastic surgery like clinic, and uh, they also do like aesthetics. So moral story is, a lot of women work there, and they're all very good looking women. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't pick I, that up by I the just two feel like things that know. CJ said, <laughs> I just feel like that should be put in the story before I go on. Anyways, they were having some kind of like team retreat thing. They were going out for like a nice dinner. They were asking if they could use our limo, and. I was like, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to be able to drive you because I have to edit that day, but I'll have I'll have Evan drive you guys. Or Ken. Evan or Ken. Maybe both of them, actually, just so that way they can co-pilot it. Isn't it funny how good-looking women just get a special pass because you know how many people ask to use our limo and I we know. always just go, nope. I know. <laughs> anyway, I know. But sorry. they were Alex's sorry. co-workers. That's yeah, why. it's different. Yeah. It was, it was at my girlfriend's, and I don't know. They're good. They're nice people, whatever. So anyways... Evan and Ken go and drive them to Spanky's. First off, there's this really good-looking mom that was into Ken, taking pictures with him, pop it up. Classic. Pop it up. We don't need to go that much further into it. But anyways, so they drop them off. They come back. I'm in a grueling editing day. It was a day after MGK concert. I'm running on literally three hours of sleep because I wasn't sober like Ben. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to – just it was a tough day. So we're pulling in the inn parking lot, and they give me a call. I'm like, hey, can you come pick us up in the limo? I'm like, oh, I thought you guys said you just needed a ride there. No, oh, well, now we need one home. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I was yeah, like, I'm like home. I, so, I didn't want to ask too many questions, but they were just like, just there. So I'm like, ah, I really don't want to because, like, I don't know. Like, can't you find something else? And then they're like, no, please, 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 like all this. And I'm like, fine, all right, I'll pick you up. Mid mid of me saying I'll pick you up, they just hang up on me. Damn. I know, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? Goes back to like good-looking women getting what they want. And then I'm Never heard to, no like, before. I, yeah, I'm like trying to text them. I'm like, so am I coming to pick you up or not? Because like I'm sitting here at the end. I want to have a beer. But if I'm driving you guys on a limo, I won't. Like, it's like at this point, halfway through the meal, I'm still trying to figure out I'm picking them up. So I'm drinking water. Yep. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, they're like, yeah, I mean, if you don't mind, but you sure seem like you don't want to. I'm like, Jesus. Okay, I'll come pick you up. And Evan's going to come with to help me co-pilot. So I show up to pick him up. They all know Evan already. Evan! Except Ivan. They thought his name was Ivan. They were Ivan? calling him Ivan? <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! They're, freak they're going nuts. No, so we go and drop off like the 
surgeon and his wife, and then the other girls wanted to go to Zorba's. Next thing I know, Evan's in the back with them. <laughs> and it's like music bumping. Ivan, Ivan, <laughs> Ivan, Ivan. Evan was literally having the best time of his life. So we cruise around, and uh, I guess there's not a whole lot more to the story. <laughs> but <laughs> it was just really funny. <laughs> Evan was just in heaven, though? Yeah, Evan was having a great time. And then he thanked me after. He's like, hey, man, thanks again just for, like, everything you guys do to me. <laughs> I mean, for me, like... It's the perks of the job. <laughs> no. I was wondering why yesterday you were just going around, Ivan, Ivan. That's literally like, what why, I heard. Why is CJ saying this? The whole night. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. <laughs> so, okay, rewind a little bit, though. That mom that was into Ken, taking the pictures with Ken. Ken, if she was into you, why'd you dip on her like that? That is true. We, we were just dropping them off. No, no, I will say. So when we got done eating, they wanted us to come pick them up. And you were like, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, man. I'm dipping. Ken. This was the and day after the MGK concert where Ken. I was incredibly hungover. Ken had a hard day. You, you got all install these good-looking women in a limo, and you could just at least ride in the back with them. I, I called it. I went to bed. Yeah. I, I had a great night. They could have been yelling, <laughs> Ken <better> early. Ivan. <laughs> Something like that. Something yeah. Good. Ken. Good, man. It, it just don't not understand. Even, even if the mom wasn't in you like that way, you know, at least it's just fun to be there. Ryan, uh, you should know from experience, sometimes you just want to go to bed early and just, you know, stay in for the night. Huh? You don't need to go out every night. That, you know what? <laughs> Fair enough, Ken. That's Fair enough. Valid point. <laughs> I, uh, the other last thing I need to say is, like, they kept asking to borrow the limo, and Alex is, like, saying, I'm like, dude, do they know how fucking shitty this is? thing is? Like... Why don't they just get a party bus? Like, why do they want our limo? This thing is literally a beater. <laughs> like, there's rust falling off of it. It's not it's that not nice. that bad. Yeah, when it's it, not. But also, you're looking at like I just figured for what they're used to, they would probably just want to. Well, most people aren't used to having a limo. No, it's not that. Just I don't know. You look at them and you look at our limo. And you're like, well, they probably shouldn't roll up in that. Mm -hmm. The old one, I would agree. The no <laughs> AC smelled like. Rat yeah. shit everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new one though, the, it's the at same, least a four out of ten. The, the same. They, they all had a blast <laughs> though. I'm not kidding you. I guess they had the best night. Really, good, literally good. the best. Well, night. that that they does so add much to it too. It, kind of the shittier limo experience because it's not like you have to be all like bougie and balling mm -hmm. and shit. You can like spill a drink and it's not the end yeah. of the world. But you're just I like, actually know where I was going with that whole story. Okay, so you had your sober driving night, and I guess it was a horror story. And my sober driving night. Which I I think that was like the first time I've ever done that. I've never even driven the limo. Really? Best time. It was a blast, honestly. I had a good time. You should do it tonight. I was no, no, no. <laughs> I won't do it again. I was living like I think it was just super fun for me because Evan was in the back having such a good time and them chanting Ivan that I was just <laughs> like, I'll drive you guys wherever you want to go. I'll drive you anywhere. Dude, it is where do you want to go? People Texas? are having fun. Yeah. yeah like, they were having so much fun and they were so appreciative and Evan was just having a blast that it was just or Ivan, I should say. That it was a blast. It was a good time. Ken, that could have been up. you though. Ken, Ken you could have been your argument. It, it your been. argument is pretty invalid because the MGK night, Ivan was so drunk he passed out in the back of the car. So he was. He said he woke up and he said it was one of the worst hangovers he's ever had. And he still went out. He still had a good time. Yeah, I, I just didn't want to do that though. I wanted to go to bed early and like have my Friday where I could actually like get stuff done. Mm. Finish the wiring on the one AC hey, unit. We have air conditioning now, though, so be thankful for that. <laughs> I actually have had no problems with not having air conditioning because there's an air conditioner in here. Because you guys like <laughs> block the, air conditioner. Block the of course, you off. don't. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. So I, it's yeah, it's not really, that hot in my room. The little air conditioner that air conditions my <laughs> office does pretty good. It's making the rest of the shop excruciatingly hot. <laughs> it just blows hot. all the hot, hot air back out into, into you the guys. shop. Mike is sitting in his office, no sweating. shirt on, sweating his ass off. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that when Ken finally got the AC going. I've felt cold AC a million times in my life. Always feels Very good. privileged of you to say, Ryan. A, a lot of people have. Um, people in Europe right now are dying. You know that? People in Europe don't have AC. People in air conditioning? I, dude, I guess like most of the world doesn't have, obviously you could expect like places in Africa to not have air conditioning, like, but like a weird percent of people in the world do not have air conditioning. It and it's like, bro, it's like no. 90 degrees in Europe right now and people are dying. Holy fuck. Yeah. 
They should have Ken come over and install a split unit. No. Yeah, Ken, but he's going to be too gonna, tired. He's going to be too tired. Once, big Ken, yeah. <laughs> Once oh, this so thing tired. is done, I am done doing this. No, this Ken, you need nightmare. to get over there and start saving lives. <laughs> this is a nightmare trying to put together. Nightmare? Nightmare. So it, it's like a, there's like a <laughs> three-minute YouTube video. It's like, oh, you can get this done in two hours. I've spent three days. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking, uh, and it kind of goes back to the limos too, that something that you take for granted that worked, like in our old limo, when we first got it, the brakes didn't work, which I know sounds actually crazy to think that we drove that limo around with all of our friends. Yeah, and made like a mile. I fixed the brakes. <laughs> Me. Oh, God, Me. So and I remember the first time we drove and I hit the brakes and it stopped. And I went, oh my God, I can't believe brakes work. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. It's just crazy yeah. that you can press a pedal and the whole vehicle stops. And that's how I felt about that. And AC then you yesterday. get used to it really quick. Yeah, exactly. So. And then, and then you're stopping at every stop sign, and then you just become a tainted little bitch. Exactly. Yeah, we used so. to roll through these. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have to downshift to try to get the thing to slow down enough so we could just uh. barely slide through it. Moral of the story, uh, turn off your AC and cut the brake lines on your car. And I have no idea. How did we even get on this topic? Well, I just said I was thankful for the AC when it happened. It's one of those things that you get used to. You go, oh, yeah, cold oh, AC. Yeah. You walk into your house and you never think, oh, my God, it feels so good in here. But you walk in the shop today and it's like you can't help but not think about it. I know. I could sit in here all day. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sweating right now. Um, pretty blessed. You know what's pretty crazy is like we're kind of in the crossfires of like energy drink companies sending us we energy are. drinks. We uh -oh. are. I mean, I'm just going to, I, it's I think like we got to say it. One of the sickest things. It's that awesome. Awesome. I'm not complaining <laughs> like about it this at all. Kid. Right, right. But it's like pretty wild. Like every other day, I feel like we're getting like a case of some energy drink. And or now Monster's going to send us some stuff too. Really? Because yeah, Rich Rich mentioned, oh, dude, we're going to send him a pallet. Holy shit. I know. Cripes. So we're going to literally have the only brand we're missing now is Rockstar. That's probably fine. I, I mean, at this <laughs> point, we have so fine. many energy I, drinks. I, I don't know what to do with it. I just start giving them away. I'm like, hey, man, here. Then, yeah, we are in the crossfire, though. So obviously, Clutch sent us a pallet. But then Red Bull, just out of nowhere, starts sending us just on like a little rotate. Like, it's like once a week, we get like a two big -er. boxes. No, they're like 24 or packs. 24s. We'll get... Two of those, so, so we have 48 every week show up. 48 Red Bull games. It initially started off as like one little four pack. I was so confused, though, because they addressed the next one to me, and I haven't talked to anyone. I, I have no idea. Cause I, I have no idea. It showed up. Very the confusing. FedEx guy shows up, drops off, and Ryan goes, oh, you, you got something, CJ. It's kind of heavy. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, I didn't order anything. CJ opened like, it up, and I go, this is how every show starts, and then it's a bomb. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, he did every that. show. Every show that a boom person doesn't know, they go, oh, you got a package. I don't know what it is. Bomb. And then it goes into like a crime investigation. Big yeah. Ken and you are trying to track down the killers of Mean Ryan. What the fuck? What are you guys watching? He did say that. That's some CSI, man. Ted Bundy shit right there. Yeah. Sure. The Unabomber. Yeah. yeah. The Unabomber hates our podcast. He's listening to it in jail right now. Is he still alive? Yeah. yeah, he's, he's in, in like Unabomber maximum, so maximum interesting. security. If you if you haven't watched that, I don't remember the name. It's just, you just search Unabomber on Netflix. They have they have two different variations of shows on it. And the one that's like a reenactment is so good. They made like a whole, I think it's just eight episode show. All those shows are insanely interesting. Like the um, the Olympic bombing one. That that's one. a really yeah. good it's one. It's the same thing where it's like a reenactment. That right. was crazy, dude. I felt so bad for that guy. He got framed, dude. Oh, yeah. It's just a typical situation of the police not doing their job right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wild. Anyway, back to the uh, energy <laughs> drink. Man, we got oh, a we little go. sidebar there. Um, yeah, so Clutch, Red Bull, Gravity Coffee. Gravity yeah, we got stuff. the Gravity, gravity Energy. Drinks. Man, we're just like, oh, we're just walking around just buzzing now. I, I actually think the energy drinks don't do anything for me anymore. Which you had too much. I've had mm -hmm. so many that it's like, do you guys feel like, Nothing you new. crash way, way harder. No, I just keep drinking them all day long because we, we have so many. Oh, I okay. don't know. I am we worried don't have room that for like waters in the fridge. We just have energy drinks. <laughs> I am worried that I have been drinking so much energy drinks that I will like not be able to have a normal energy cycle in my day. Like, I feel like I'm tired and I'm like, oh, better drink another energy drink. Yeah, I know. Slam That's another I one. Too. Yeah. I don't really know. Yeah, I've been feeling really tired lately, which I Same. think just comes to not having that much sleep. We don't sleep that much. I, I've tried to only like drink them in the morning because I find if it's after like two or three o'clock, I just can't, can't get to sleep quick. It's always like I'm just tossing and turning in mm. bed. 
but I, it is nice having a lot of options because you can shop for which one's the healthiest. And I won't say which one is, Dude, you should but it seen, is nice because you you have options. You should have seen the look on my parents' face when I told them I drink at least one energy drink a day. They go, <laughs> I'm sure they, they probably thought they were like, "What? <laughs> Are you joking?" Or your no, mom I'm starts like, no, crying. I, drink, going, I at least addicted. drink like I'll drink a coffee and then an energy drink right after. I try to only do it on days that I'm editing. Yeah, it's smart. Mm-hmm. But then um, when I'm editing, I'm just like so drained. I feel like it almost doesn't even do anything. And then it eventually hits. Dude. And it like hits right towards the end of the day. And I'm just like buzzing. I'm just going to have it earlier. It doesn't no, do anything. No, no. I, like I drink it at like 11 and it doesn't hit until like You remember three. what Haley was saying? She drinks like three monsters a day. That cannot be good. Or she, uh, maybe it was two now, but she was like, yeah, I used to drink like five a day. I was like, oh, Jeez. Fuck. I don't know. We had it on a podcast. She said it. Mm-hmm. Whatever the number was, pull it up. I am a caffeine addict. I'll, I'll admit it like bad. Like I we used are to, two over here. And so like it's, it, it got to an unhealthy point where I drink three energy drinks. Like just to, like, cause I was like waking up at 5 a.m. And then driving like two and a half hours to go to the simulator. I would drink like two to three energy drinks in the span of like two hours in the morning. Holy shit. Oh, it was bad. I love it though. They're, they taste great. Mm-hmm. They give you energy. And, uh, I mean, obviously you need the caffeine. <laughs> Caffeine's good for you, actually. It helps you burn fat. And also, it uh, suppresses your appetite. Does it do anything? Caffeine suppresses your appetite. So, technically, if you... Yeah, so... Is that good for you, though? That just makes you not hungry. I'd say, yeah. Maybe for, like, weight, gaining weight. Yeah, but, like, is that good for you? Something that's suppressing your appetite might do you some some good, okay? (laughs) Fuck. No, that's true, though. So, if you ever wake up in the morning, drink... uh, Start drinking some coffee. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. you. Noticed that. I'll always brew coffee, and uh, I'll drink it out of my Yeti cup, whatever, in the morning, and I can f- don't even have to have breakfast. I have no. And then, that. Once, and then once you finish that cup of coffee, grab yourself an energy drink, yep. crack Sugar that. Sugar-free, of course. Drink it, and then once um, you get done with that, just drink another one or two. Yeah. No, and by that, that time, should bring you to 5 o'clock, and then you can eat dinner. By that time, it's like 11, so then I'll I was going to say, lunch. about noon. Then you call into, like, the pit or the roadhouse or the inn get or the take pub out. Or lunch, and you get yeah. some ticket takeout right yeah. some steak bites or some some wings just such a such a stellar diet avenue. yeah i know <laughs> we need a crisp and green out here <sighs> dude i went to crisp and green they fell off lacking, man i don't know they fell off it dude, used to be so good why because they're employee they they did like a employee rotation and yeah, you didn't know I anyone in there, in there. No one even they said didn't what's treat up. you like a god <laughs> oh what can i g- hey cj what can they I get were, for you? They were just a little <laughs> less friendly. <laughs> <that time. laughs> we're jumping right into it then, huh? I, mean, I know there's a long line behind me, but we're not going to talk for five minutes. <laughs> Be like, you don't even care about my week? Yeah. Not even ask me about my day? Oh, Mike had just texted us. He's supposed to be here for the podcast, but uh, Dude, he, he was obviously with, was not. He was hanging with Big Reno <laughs> at uh, Big Reno's bar in Fargo. Can we screen record this and put this up on his... I don't know yes, why. We it's just have so to. funny, dude. Micah was hammered. God, he, I love Mike. I know just, I give him a lot of shit, but Mike is so, so funny. funny, dude. So I funny. get such a kick out of just him doing his life. <laughs> he just texted, <laughs> misplaced my phone last night and had to track it down, but I'll be back by 12. Might be, guys. I know we were trying to run the pod at 11 so we could enjoy the day. Don't worry, Mike. We're already Let, running. Let's it. see. Where's he at? So the best thing is, is, yeah, he said he'll be back by 12. He's just leaving town right now, and it's 11.50. Yeah, and so now it is 12, basically, and he is still not even left. You want to know, though? I, at least he was hanging with Big Reno. Like that's, it was that's true. true. Yeah. You know, it was for a good cause. The best way to operate things with Mike involved is to just not care if he's there or not. It is. Like, that's the only way that we've continued to just, like, not get mad at him for just not showing up ever or just like completely dropping the ball on things. Just don't expect anything from him. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Just, Basically, if, if he's there, it's an added bonus. If not, we got somebody that can just stand in. You just got to lie about what your due date is. And like, like or this the time we, we want to do the podcast at noon. So you got to say, hey, we got to do the podcast at 11. But or even I'll, today, on dude. Mike's time, though, we would have had to have told him, yo, dude, we're going to do this podcast at 730 in the morning. And, but and then he would have just been like, well, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just that. That. You can only be so like ridiculous with yeah, your times. I, I don't even really get that mad anymore at this point. Yeah, Honestly, I, I don't either, because I feel like it's just like, uh, it's just Mike. Dude, so, he's listening to this right now. He's like, finally, it took him six freaking years to find it. No, it's working. <laughs> no, no, it's just we're just used to it. I know I give Mike, I just want to say this, I know I give Mike a lot of shit. 
because he's just funny, like the hot dog thing and whatever else. He's kind of embraced that. But Mike is honestly a superstar. Mm -hmm. He is. He's so funny. Good kid. And he's Mm -hmm. he's a good guy. And he's not here right now to hear me say this, but it's true. I'll say it to the listeners. Like when we were pulling up, but he is also very predictable. I've known him. I know him now. <laughs> it's like, for instance, we're in the Mustang, and he mentions, "Oh, there's a graffiti bridge up here." I used to, <laughs> I used to graffiti down here. I go, "No way!" Well, let's go pull up and on the video and and check it out. That'll be funny. And I tell you guys, I go, "He probably wrote his name." That's just like I was just genuinely thinking. I'm like, and he goes, "I wouldn't do that." I'm like, "Dude, I don't know." It sounds, sounds like something you do, just incriminate yourself. <laughs> we get there, he's like. Yeah, well, I did post some pics of me spray painting to my Facebook. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's worse than writing your name. <laughs> Just doesn't. No, no fucks. I love when we get Mike going, like when we're all like teaming up on him and just like harassing him about something. And he always has the same. No, no, no that's not that's true. Not right. That's not true. Like he'll just cut you off when you're talking and then we'll all just talk over him. And he'll, no, no. Yeah, dude, fuck. We we got a great friend group. I'm just going to say it. Mm-hmm. It's so funny and can't make this happen. It just either it does or it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I, I guess I like, yeah, I like you guys. I think we got a good yeah. thing going. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you like I it or not. I guess the chemistry works pretty well. Pretty funny together. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is funny, though. Like, you love hanging out with other people and stuff like that. But yeah, that's you, what I'm you, saying. When you come back to the crew, you're just like, ah, oh, fuck, yes. It's and effortless. It, yes, it's effortless, fun. We can be quiet together or we can be cracking jokes and rolling whatever and it's fun. Right. Like, the stuff that we say before we sit down on the podcast is always the funniest. I, I always say, like, God, I wish we could put this on the pod, but yeah. I just can't. <laughs> that's how we warm up. We say everything we can't. You can't say, yeah. Uh, and then Ben, then it cuts in right when Ben's talking about Ryan slapping his girl's ass. So it, <laughs> it's somewhere between whatever else we're going to talk about and that. And yeah. And that was th- the out of bounds. That's one of the things where we're like, all right, finally, we can put this in the podcast. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right. This is how we can start it. Start it. <laughs> we just start it really fucked up and then move into less and less. <laughs> I feel like... uh Probably anyone at home even has a friend group that mm-hmm. there's so many funny things about your friends. And if you feel like you don't, just get to know them more. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Hey, hey, t- just stand stand over there. I want I want to see your reaction when I say this. Oh, boy. So. You got to get sit down. down. Sit down. All right. All right. So um, if you guys saw the video where we surprised Tint with a new set of wheels and then Mark a rolly, um, <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of comments asking if Tint and Mark... We're uh, gay lovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought they were going to say, who's the favorite? No. <laughs> no. People were wondering. They were like, are Mark serious. They weren't saying it as a No, joke. no, like, no. Are they, are, they, are, they actually, are they like seriously together? I've been wondering for the longest time. <laughs> because they're always together. And then <laughs> Tint's always shirtless walking around. <laughs> and just, it's just Mark and Tint hanging out and Tint's shirtless, <laughs> bouncing around, working on their houses together and shit. We're at the lake. So... I guess we brought you on here to ask you. <laughs> you no. want to clear the air? Are yeah. you and Mark? No, nowhere near Tent? That. Nowhere near Tent. that. Tent. It's just between us. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even close. No, the cameras aren't filming. No. No, seriously, we'll cut this out. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Far from it. All right. Okay. All right. The people want to know, though. He's I've, clear. He's clear. I felt like we owed them an uh, explanation. I will say, I will vouch for Tan. He's not gay. Oh, I know. We're just messing with you. you but talk it is funny. One time. Well, because people really don't know anything about Mark and Tint. They're just in the background of all of our videos, and they're just always together. So I bet people were starting to wonder, like, all right, what's going on, yeah. with, what's going on with these guys? I think we need to have a Mark and Tint podcast. Yeah. And it's realistically, the, the podcast listeners are pretty diehard, so mm-hmm. they'd probably be curious to know. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys want that. Everyone's just like, no, <laughs> no, they'll, they'll want it. I feel like, so I love that. Uh, Tint is obviously not even Tint's name, but he's just another person. Nobody else knows your real name. Even like when we got, nicknamed. even when we pulled out or got pulled over by the DNR, he goes, so who are you? And you introduced yourself as Tint. <laughs> <laughs> like, Actually, I don't, yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. He said, don't worry about it. He's like, no, seriously, he goes, I'm Tint. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in the video. That's actually amazing. Yeah, I know. It's so funny how we we were able to like bring a friend in and then we just give them a new name and then we just are like, nope, this <laughs> is your name. Me. And then eventually they're just like, that's I guess this is my name. Dude, Evan's the new Ivan. Ivan. <laughs> Ivan. 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 No, but like, dude, Evan, bro. 
Like, I just called him Dude Evan, bro, for like the first four times that we hung out, and then he just changed his Instagram to it because he Dude was like, Evan, honestly, I, this is just my name now. <laughs> well, it's because people started looking him up, and they're like, I don't know what's his name. Dude Evan, bro. This is what they're used to being uh, searched by. Yeah. It's like Ken. He finally, I remember, changed his name on Instagram to Ken, all of his socials. You know what's funny? The IRS is probably doing so much digging, and they like, cannot find Ken a Ken guy? Matthews. Ken guy. He, oh my God! He's he done hasn't been paying his taxes. taxes. We have no record of him. He's done such a good job of staying off the grid. It's amazing. There's <laughs> nothing we can do to trace him. They <laughs> don't even have a birth receipt. <laughs> They're like, he's a ghost. He's an illegal immigrant. You, you need to legally change your name to Ken. I, that's why we I'm should saying. do that for a video. I think you should, Ken. You can change it back if you ever want to. Main channel type thing, like how many? What do you want? Likes, subs, comments? I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't want to do that just because it sounds like an a absolute nightmare trying to change everything. Nightmare. Stop saying nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> Can you say nightmare? Nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> say it again. Try it again. Nightmare. <laughs> no, seriously. Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah. yeah. But nightmare. no, it, it sounds like an absolute hassle, like trying to change everything. It's just like... But half of your stuff is already. Uh, no, 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 like, my like the banks, the credit cards, you have to change everything, though. That's true. You could just fly under the radar. But it is so hard because when, uh, like, the shipping guy, I don't know if the shipping guy even asked you. I go, does he know you as Ken or Grant? And he, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't even know. I don't think I ever, ever told him my name, honestly. He, he, actually, much, I guess. he actually asked me because he didn't even know who your name was. Well, that is his fault because Steve and I... And his name is actually Steve. I've done a lot of business. Ken, it is actually funny because when you're doing things that aren't even related to C-Boys, like us going to get a countertop, we show up and Ken had already <laughs> been talking. She goes, now, which one of you is Ken? I'm like, so he called just on his own time. He's like, yeah, Ken. Put me down, Ken Matthews. That's awesome, though. I think it's, yeah, it makes sense. You're just used to it. Yeah. It, it, yeah. He legit changed his name. <laughs> no, one time, like, <laughs> Ken and I had a class together in college. And uh, one class. And in class, I called him Ken. And I wrote on like our work se- worksheets and stuff together. Like it would I'd be like Brian Iwerks, and then I'd go Ken Matthews. And literally, the teacher was like, "Wait, so what's your name? Is it Ken or is it your government name?" And I'd just be like, "Oh no, it's just his nickname." And they're like, "Yeah, but you're like writing his nickname on his. Do you want to be called Ken?" And I, I don't think I did, but I should have been like, "Yeah, you, you need to call him Ken in class." <laughs> The only time giving a nickname has ever backfired is giving Ryan's girlfriend Alondra's name Donda, which I still think is a great name. Yeah, I, I know, but Donda. it's tough when you don't. Why does don't, she not like it? I don't, I honestly don't really know because I've heard her other nicknames and they're terrible. Yeah, like her friends did not come up with that good of nicknames for her, but apparently she doesn't like this one, and I don't. I, I've asked why. What's wrong with like, Donda? I, yeah. I don't like it. I thought it was and a cute I, nickname, and I just, uh, as a good boyfriend that I am, I just can't. You like it? I, I, I actually respect Donda, Donda, I say both versions enough where I correct myself every time after I say Donda. Thank I you. Go, that is Alondra. Nice. Sorry. Ben doesn't. I think it's just like. I some- mean, I just don't. Then I just will just not call her by her, her name because I like. Uh, hey, can you uh, do yeah. that? Which I feel like then is just disrespect. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Just, it's a good name, I think. I think some I people are just like, it was, but they I don't understand. like nicknames and they just want to go by their name. And it's just like, I think that's how she is. She doesn't like anything other than Alondra. It's a great name, but mm-hmm. fair enough. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, I guess. But um, that's, I guess, really the only time like a nickname has actually backfired on us. Well, that someone's told us. I'm sure Buddy doesn't like being called Tint all the time. He loves really? it. What? It only just makes but Tint more money. That's true. Well, now Tint's cars. Why is your everything. name Tint? Oh, I Tint cars. Oh, I need my car tinted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. Dude, there we go. Like I said, I have like five different nicknames. That's true. And then we came in and we just yeah. vetoed them all and we just went straight to the basis. What do you do for a living? I Tint cars. Tint. Well, it is funny because it started before we were really good friends. And it was because we couldn't quite lock down who was Mark and who was Tint. It's, I just called both of them Mark. Mark. <laughs> I was down drunk one night. Yeah, tell the story. This was years ago. Here, he can sit down. This was table. years ago. So, like, this was long before Alex. I was single, and we had just met Mark and Tint. 
I mean, how funny. What a story. You know, meet them four years ago or three years ago, and now we're, like, best friends. But anyways, I run into Tint, which I thought his name was Mark, Town Town Fargo, and and he's talking to some, like, the same little duo of girls that I was talking to. And uh, I'm like, yeah, my buddy Mark, my buddy Mark. And he just started rolling with it. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you just took it. Too. Why didn't you just correct him was, on the first I, one? I couldn't. You would just do it again. So dumb. <laughs> can't fix it he was feeling sometimes good. you just gotta let people dig their own hole and you know see how yeah. deep they can get in it yeah some it's like uh when you try and stop like a rager from getting in a fight or something like that it just makes it worse when you try and stop someone stupid from just being more dumb yeah it ends up coming down on you yeah bad. so sure. you just let them roll with it oh yeah for sure so he calls you mark the entire night weren't the girls like they thought his name was mark too yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I was introducing him as yeah. Mark. Was Mark Here's my there? friend no. Mark. Oh, so you... <laughs> okay. It was, just, uh, it was just me. Why'd yeah. you think that? I don't know. You just knew that one of them was Mark. I was calling everyone on the boat Mark that day. <laughs> Man. He was, he was, they don't uh, make them I'm as actually dumb as they really used bad to. With names. Yeah. I am. I am It's not being names. bad with names. It's just not caring enough to know. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just bad with names. In my defense, I've hit my head a lot of times. <laughs> Not, that's a that's a terrible defense, but yeah. But if you met somebody where you knew like that they were like somebody, and you actually cared enough to like remember their and name, remember their versus name. just like yeah, hopping right. on and you're just right. meeting someone and just being like, "What's up? What's up?" Well, Steven. I got a lot going on, man. It's like I don't. I'm not blaming you. I, 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 I do this. People, you ever have it where I you think, you meet someone, and while you're shaking their hand, you're worried about like being nice, smiling. You're Hey, how's it going? CJ. And they say, nice. My name is Eric. And then I'm just like, I was so worried about just introducing myself that I blacked out. Don't, don't even know what their name is now. And now it's right after that. We just said each other's names. I'm like, I didn't. I don't remember totally. a single thing. And then how Wait. bad is it at the end when you go, what was your name again? <laughs> well, it's better to do that than call them the wrong name. What about that one time where we were at Heydays and Ken introduced himself <laughs> as CJ? I don't know why I just blacked out and fucked that Ken up, shook but. a guy's hand and he goes, hey, a dude from I'm Mark. Cat. Yeah. Hey, I'm Mark. And Ken goes, CJ. I, I, think I, was literally, and, I think I was literally looking at you and I was like, CJ. Yeah, we go down the line. This guy from Arctic Cat, this is like years ago, to come meet us as we're setting up. Hey, what's going on, boys? I heard a little bit about you, whatever. Shakes our hands. You know, I'm so-and-so. Ben. Ryan, Micah, and then Ken's up next, and Ken goes, CJ. And, then, and <laughs> I, I like, go like this. Fuck. I look, I'm like, who the fuck am I then? What do you want? I, just went, That's Ken. I, I looked, I'm like, why are we switching names? I'm like, <laughs> am I supposed to say Ken? Oh, Ken. Uh, Ken. Like, I was just like, I sat there, and I was like, blacked out. And we all just like, it was like, pause for a second. And then all of a sudden, everyone goes, Dad, just starts laughing <laughs> right in front of this guy. He the was guy had so no confused. idea what was going like, on. Yeah. What the fuck? So going? his and name isn't at CJ, me? <laughs> and he ended up just walking away because we were literally on the ground rolling at Ken's and we're CJ. Crying. <laughs> we're literally crying. We're just like, "You're so fucking dumb." What's going we're on, crying. my name's CJ? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I just fucked that one up royally. Uh, uh Ken, what are you doing here, man? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Role play, Ken's. Like, we look over, Ken's wearing the life wide open with a backwards hat. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? Ken grows his hair out, starts flipping it out. <laughs> What's going on, man? That was so funny, dude. That's one of those things like I just wish we had on camera. Oh, that was such a beautiful, just <laughs> just a beautiful moment. moment. That is so funny, dude. Like, who does that? Well, clearly I fucked it up. I know, <laughs> it's just so funny. It, like you literally can't make that shit up. Just so beautifully genuine. Just some good humor. That's one, what I'm saying. Day though. Ken's a superstar. About it and that's going to be the best day ever. I don't know if I ever <laughs> I will forget about that, that one. Nope. That one was just like. I'm so glad it happened. Like, I was the other guy. <laughs> like, it's just so funny to me. <laughs> I think it would have been better if he, like, you introduced yourself and then. Ken did it right Dude, after you. We should start hey, doing I'm that. Also I'm also CJ. And the guy goes, oh, two CJs. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, two CJs. I'm going to start going around and stuff. I'm Ken. And I'll be an asshole. It's like when I drive your, it's like when I drive your Lamborghini. <laughs> then people will start going, man, that Ken from Seaboys TV, he's a real asshole. <laughs> I was driving Ben's Lambo one day. <laughs> And I was just driving like such a dickweed. I was fucking downshifting, accelerating, making just the most noise, speeding. And then Ben's like, dude, you're making me look bad. I was like, I know. 
Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, like, fun. like we said in the last one, like so many people have driven it. And like every time somebody drives it, they just drive it way harder than like I ever do. Like they're just downshifting, like doing pulls past neighborhood houses and stuff. So then I was out and about and uh, one of our buddies is a cop and he's like, hey, dude, just letting you know, like that car's hot. Like, like people down. have been talking about it, like in the departments and shit. And like, it's been ripping through neighborhoods. I'm like, that's not me. I know it's out. Like, this is like, it sounds like something that I would say if I was like, Oh, it's not me, but it's actually, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like the kid that I let take it to prom was like fucking street racing it. Like through literally through like a neighborhood. Yeah. And I'm sure that was pissing everyone off. And they're like, got the oh, white TV Lamborghini. TV license, yeah. But yeah. I'm like, dude, there's one Lamborghini in the entire area. It's so exactly like, what they expect <clears throat> us to be doing. Yeah. And you got when, your dad. In reality, we really don't cause that much havoc. I guess kind of speaking of that too, I, I, I wanted to dive into this because I think um, a lot of the listeners right now are younger, might be confused. They might have it twisted. Driving by somebody, if you have like a loud car or a loud truck or a loud crotch rocket and there's people outside and like downshifting and like ripping by so they like hear the exhaust or like see you going fast. I just got to tell you this. I don't know if anybody has. People don't think it's cool. Common misconception. Uh, common misconception, but I think people got to know. It's like, yeah. it's like, don't do it. Once you get a little older, it kind of changes your perspective on like, this isn't okay to do. Ken's Ken. that new Pelican person now that's Ken. walking down the street, shaking his hand. You are turning into by. that guy. Hey, you're getting older. You, you kind of realize <laughs> you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do some, some, <laughs> you shouldn't do some things in certain spots. Like pee out in public. <laughs> with your, He's still like, working on with that With your one. dick out in a, Okay. 50 feet away from a children's that playground. That is completely different. <laughs> <laughs> you love just attaching onto one little thing and never letting go of it. I mean, keep on doing it. <laughs> Ken's never going to pee. I mean, if, if Evan was here, tell a whole different story about the Ken on the boat last weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Evan's so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were sitting on, on on Alex's, my girlfriend's boat, and Ken's nutsack, I guess, <laughs> fell out of his shorts. <laughs> they did not fall out <laughs> of my shorts. It was one nut. Okay, so one ball <laughs> they was did hanging not out of his shorts. <laughs> well, it was sitting on the no, seat. Did, no, they were never wearing, out of their shorts. Orange swim trunks, and oh. so he had like an orange net. So yeah. Evan <laughs> talks about it like it's like it's an orange in like an uh in like a fruit sack. <laughs> but the funniest thing is, is that they were hanging out of shorts. And they no were not <laughs> hanging out of my shorts. <laughs> okay. His netting, he was busting them out. And like, so it's like this nut sack and like your the netting is like pressed out. It was sitting out and resting on the seat. And Nikki, Evan's girlfriend, was sitting there staring at it for like five minutes, dude, before it she said something. It was not five minutes. And then finally, Evan goes, dude, Ken, your nut's hanging out, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looks, and Ken like pulls it back in his short, and there's a little sweat spot sitting on the seat from it resting. The Dude, I think that's awesome. I, I, I wish my nuts hung out. My <laughs> the story dude, went from got this so to this. This dude got what a they sack were. They were that big. He's like a like a bull, dude. A sweat spot. <laughs> the, when I'm, he I'm, walks, they I go love, like this. I love. That something new gets added every time this story gets told. It was like a sack of melon. Yo, hanging out. Evan has not stopped talking about it. He has not stopped talking about it. He said, so I'm at home the other day and I go to the grocery store, a place where you should be able to go and not think about Ken's nutsack. And what do I see? I see two grapefruits sitting there. And guess what I thought about? Ken's nuts. Ken's nuts. That's not right. That's not right. I shouldn't be put in that position, Ken. You scarred Evan, and you made him also look bad in front of his own girlfriend. Thank God Alex didn't That's see That's not it. my problem. Like, why is yours so small? <laughs> Dude. Ken hates when we tell that story. It's because you add something new that's just a complete fabrication every single time. Dude, if I was walking around with two <laughs> absolute cantaloupes, <laughs> I would let those things hang out of my tiny swim trunks too. They were not that small. They just rolled up really yeah. <laughs> They weren't that small, man. They were hanging to his knees and nuts still fell out. <laughs> 
have to get him some capris or something. <laughs> keep these things hidden. <laughs> Imagine Ken walking around with some capris. <laughs> oh, look who's walking around. Oh! <laughs> oh! Steven! He's here! Let's go! Yeah! Jeez, Steve. <laughs> Looking like Greta the other night. Ryan, stay over there. Is that bad at twerking? <laughs> no, Ryan just slapped Greta's ass. What? Yeah. You missed it. Yeah. I wish I could have seen what? that. That's so funny. Yeah. I can't right in front of me. I mean Greta liked it. I'd ben rather was mad. I'd rather have him do it in front of you. Yeah. That's probably enough. True. Yeah. Like, It'd be weirder honestly. if he was doing it on the side. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I'm stoked to walk in and see Tint on the podcast. Yeah, he's a good kid. Stoked. I don't care what you say about him. Yeah, I never have. Yeah, and I actually didn't even say anything, so but I'm the, glad you don't care. What everyone else says about Tint doesn't matter. And he's, I think he's a decent guy. My favorite thing is that after we got him the wheels, he didn't change. He yeah. stayed the same. It was great. Yeah. Right. Whereas Mark got the watch. <laughs> yeah. Haven't seen him since. I know. I know. He, walks, yeah. he walks around kind of like right. this. He's, he's different. Yeah, hey, Mike. So how was Big Reno's bar last night? So Did you get the VIP access? Dude, yeah, yeah was, I saw you I and saw him you were like like rolling around on top with him. and everyone else was down low, but was, you couldn't bring Sydney up with you. <laughs> it was so well, it was so funny. I just went up there to chat with him for a sec. But I went up there and you and hung then, up there all night. No, but instantly <laughs> the bouncer, like I'm I'm speaking to Big Reno. We're dapping up, like it's great. And the bouncer comes up, like I'm kinda as we're doing that, as we're vibing out, and he's like, You can't be up here, bro. And I'm like, uh, can you tell him, Big Reno? <laughs> Did and Big Reno say he's, he's you're cool? He literally cool? goes to Big Reno. He's just like, he can't be up here. And Big Reno's like, he's good, bro. Dude, yeah. Big Reno's bar looks electric. No, it looks I, nice. I, I was, really go check that out. It was super fun. And, and he gave me like three shots. And So you were No, I, I messed up, dude. Uh, Sydney gave me her purse. I saw that on. you were on the story and you lost the purse. it. Wait, I didn't lose it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I I, 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 I set it, it down and like had my arm on it right, and then some some subs came up and they're like, "Oh, we'll get you a drink." And the bar is like, so table purse bars right there. Somebody so like, stole it. No, they didn't steal it, but he they just put, lost it. They put it in lost and found, but assume it's stolen. Oh, right? you found it. I didn't. Sydney did, was she and mad? so she, she was more mad at my inability to track it down. She's like, I just went up to Big Reno. We watched the security cameras, find out where it got, you know, who who took it. And he's like, oh, that's one of the people that work here. They took it. Like, She's still new to the game of knowing you, Mike. Right. And <laughs> I, I, it's just like, so I definitely. Like, Honestly, I, I felt bad. I felt so bad. Like, Dude, I, you shouldn't because that was her problem of trusting you. Like, but, we were just having this conversation. Like, like, she'll figure this out. Like, she shouldn't expect that of you. To be I mean, fair, if I had something valuable, I wouldn't no, be like, give it to Mike. That's he's accurate. He's going to keep good track of it. Right now, he's all drunk. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Give it to him. He will keep it safe. No, that is accurate. So, like, the realistic thing. Maybe she yeah. shouldn't have trusted me with it. I'm However, sure she won't do it again. I'm trying, yeah. to be, I'm trying to be like, I need to act as if that was my own, as if that was my wallet. Who are what? What are you saying right now, Mike? I need. You're saying things that I've never keep, heard you. Keep track of things? Are you taking responsibility? <laughs> yes. Take what responsibility. The fuck? Uh yeah, it was. I was so bummed. It's like she canceled her car. I bet she was pissed. She was mad. Oh, I bet she's yeah. got to order all new cars. <laughs> well, just one, luckily. But it was like I'm putting it on hold, sort of stolen card thing. But what it and nightmare. then the guy, she's on the phone. He's like, "No, you canceled it." Which I mean, I don't <laughs> think she knew. But God, dude, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> Ken, can we hear it one more time? Nope. Nightmare. It's say actually it. pretty funny because I uh, was like, did CJ say nightmare or did oh, Ken? Man. Oh, that is totally a CJ thing pretty, to say. Yeah. Hey, Mike. I do say a lot of words wrong, I know. Were you on the boat when uh, Ken's nuts fell out? I was. Like was, a it a, was it a spectacle? But, oh, I didn't see him. Oh. It's like, where were you when Ken's nuts <laughs> fell out? Of the Dude, we went on and on and on and on about that. But when Evan said they were like two Clementines in a little in a bag... <laughs> That was it. That was like that was when I lost what it. it like. laughing, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, like those little bags of oranges. There's coming. like two, like as if you set the bag of clementines down, <laughs> but they were all like misted with water. It was like two sweat stains. <laughs> they were sweat stains, dude. You were lying. They were as a sweat stain. I don't. I didn't see it, but that's... Alex had to get the bleach out after that. I was like, Ken's a clean guy. It's Jeez. Fine. <sighs> 
I think as far as I know and as far as any guy knows, a big sack is a is a good problem to have. We were just saying that. It's like a bow. Yeah. It's something you just wish you had, but R- right. You don't know the, <laughs> well, the burden the, that it is actually, lugging these, let's break these down, two let's break giant that down. watermelons around <laughs> everywhere. Is it actually something you wish you had? Because like I don't wish I had big balls, but if you had big balls, you gotta embrace. <laughs> why, why are we still talking about this? Ken, put them on the table. Put them on the table. Dude. <laughs> they, they thud. How, how the is table this, cracks. How has this come up this many times in this conversation? Has it? I haven't been here. <laughs> well, this is the last thing I'm going to say on it. Why do you not like talking about it? Because why? Why do you keep bringing it up? This is, I, I it's just, an awesome thing. It's, it's <laughs> It's just like, yeah, CJ, you're, let, let's talk about your nuts for 25 minutes. Can we? <laughs> it's the most awkward thing for me. Can we? I wish I had a nut story. <laughs> if if CJ had nuts to talk about for 45 minutes. We'd be talking about it. It's awkward, okay? It'd be a full episode. That's fair. <laughs> we just title it CJ's Nuts. We get slightly off topic. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get back to, let's get back to my nuts. <laughs> I guess we do talk about Ben's nuts all the time. Like think of this side many, of the table. Yeah, think of how many times we talked about your nuts on this podcast. I mean, like Probably five. three, four, five. Yeah. yeah, I think I still got you beat, Ken. <laughs> yeah, so you, you got to get those numbers Ken's up. Like, he's happy about that. He's like, seriously, this should be the first and the last. <laughs> no more nut talk. <sighs> Ken, you should get a nut job. <laughs> Reduction. Dude, TLC oh. catches wind of this and they do a full episode of like my 400 pound nuts. It's just like the South Park episode. They have a wheelbarrow. <laughs> wheelbarrow and his nuts around. His nuts have become so big, he has had to wear a hoodie upside down to just obtain them. Obtain. <laughs> I fucking know. Obtain. You know. Obtain. I don't know. But I have a nut story. Okay, the oh, nut story. Oh, All right, shit. hold up, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan you got a nut story. I'll hop out. If there is a time for it, it, it is right now. <laughs> if I'm going to tell it, I might as well put it on the podcast. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you we might as, well might as well exploit Ken's, Ken's nuts. nuts. So Ken's nuts are like a a solar eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> they only they, have, they only, only come, come out, out every so eight often. years. And, and so my like sophomore year of high of uh, college, it was New oh, Year's I Eve. Remember. Yeah. We were all just hammered. I believe Canada passed out. And uh, I think we were just being assholes, drunk assholles. And we ripped the sheets off and kind of <laughs> wearing boxers. This nut was poking out. And I had it on Snapchat. And so I have this video of me on Snapchat. We pull it off. And they go, Ken's nuts. Ken's nuts. And they're just plooped out of your underwear. Plooped. They were plooped. Dude, Ken, you got good nuts. Good for you, buddy. Thank you. And people talk about them. Yeah, people not have been talking about your nuts. Not just Other us. people, too. Yeah. That's the way to respond, Ken. It is funny. I just want to say, like, uh, you guys probably see me and Mike walk around naked all the time, but you guys don't. <laughs> and why is that? Why am I not naked? Yeah, why aren't why? you guys walking around naked more often? Do you think I like you walking around naked? It's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> but why? I don't know. It's just weird. Like, I've seen, I've not in, like, a gay way, not that there's anything wrong with being gay, but I've seen Mike. Mike's dick many a times. And you guys have all probably seen my dick many times, but I've never seen any of your guys' dicks. You are a bit of an exhibitionist, dude. <laughs> You're like running around in the hot there's, tub. Uh, there's levels to it. There's like, there's strictly, there's someone, there's someone who doesn't want to ever be seen naked ever. And then there's someone like CJ. Like, I mean, I'm not saying <laughs> Literally he's just a struts peak. around from the bathroom to the hot tub. I just don't, I mean, it's just the boys, man. I wouldn't do it in front of your girl. <laughs> Thank you for that. But Ryan like, might. Ryan might. <laughs> but I just remember, like, my favorite thing is if you're showering, CJ will just completely, you know, when you're Walk showering. Walk down the bathroom. No, he just is disregards the fact that you're showering. And I don't I don't find a problem with it, but I do, like, find I'm myself. looking at you. No, I find myself, like, talking about it or thinking about it. Like, I, I'll be showering, and you're, like, in and out of the bathroom four times, let's say. I'm Grab like, some shit. I'm like how about, how about <laughs> Mike, once? Mike how about just once? Like, just once. You know, come in, grab whatever, like, do what you got to do. And he's like, oh, sorry again. Uh, uh, just, and then it, you end up just hanging out. The story. <laughs> and then CJ, Dude, you go, you <laughs> then go CJ into the bathroom. hops in there with <laughs> I've never done that. No. You go into the bathroom and you have that thing locked down. Like, you lock the bedroom door, you lock the we bathroom do. well, door. I don't trust you guys. You might fuck with oh, me. Oh, we do talk about that. You always, like, close Evan's door. 
I don't know why. To be honest, don't know why. I always close Evan's door when I'm in there. No, the Evan, not, Evan's hey, yo, laying yo, in I'm bed. talking about People the are far door. Going. Oh. CJ always closes Evan's bedroom door and the bathroom door, and I just I don't know what goes on in there. There is something about just the lack of trust all of us have around here of just not knowing what everyone's like intentions are next. Like, all right, who's the next victim of getting right. fucked with? I think. Yeah. And you're like all vulnerable, taking a shower, and you're just worried about them, like. All right, what's gonna go on next? Back to why I guess I don't think it's weird is because just growing up playing sports, you always had to like shower in the locker room and like I don't know, it's like you don't. I'm not looking at your guys' dicks or whatever. I I don't know. I'm just I just don't see why it's weird. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Back in the day when you go to the gym, you used to shower in like the public showers. Now they have like little dividers. Right. Which is fine. I don't care, but... Basically, just think if, about if you the, how much time CJ walks jam. in... Oh, jeez. <laughs> what about the boy the talk? Man, you know? <laughs> well, we can't shower together. <laughs> <laughs> there's is, just one guy in there. It is true, though. I just noticed. It's there's funny. Just, there's I a just bunch of showers. Away, He's like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? There's only one shower. Nice. Nah, he already stall. warmed it up for me. <laughs> I come with it down the... My, mind if I hop in? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I don't even know you, man. <laughs> if you don't look at it in a weird way, like, I mean, that would be weird. But, like, if you don't look at it in a weird way, it's not that weird but it's like not, dude. if you look at it as in like getting naked is not that weird it's if not. you just like okay ben got naked cool but if you look at it weird <laughs> then it gets weird then it gets really that weird. Was such not a weird. spectacle yeah. Ken's nuts everyone everyone in their brothers gonna, gonna, yeah coming up, oh. just waiting see, for it and see like that's why ken doesn't get naked if it was this giant, he's gonna spectacle. sell it. If he's gonna do it, <laughs> make it a giant. Make you money. make it this giant right. spectacle. So like, if we're you're hyping this up, gonna, I think Ken's I gonna have him. like a, he's gonna be a main event at like a strip club. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god, that would be hard for me we not to be excited. That. What if we and did that for like Ken a video? Sack. We like get Ken ready to like go put on a show at a strip club. Dude, the ladies would go nuts. Moms love you, Ken. <laughs> Ken's a main event. It's like us warming up. I think I'm gonna have to break out the no can do. <laughs> I've been I've been good about saying yes lately, but Ken dancing around up on stage. I I thought you were going somewhere else with that. You're like, I think I'm gonna have to break out the speedo for this. <laughs> Yo, all right, super off topic, total change of events here. But I was having a conversation. I with I think it's fine, honestly. That you I just did that. Okay, <laughs> Ken is like, thank God. I somehow wrap it back to Ken's nuts. Okay, anyway. All right, so the other day I was having a conversation with Justin, and he was talking about this guy that has been struck by lightning seven times. Because we were, like, drive. I think we were driving in, like, a storm, and I was like, man, this would be so sketchy. Like, couldn't we get struck by lightning? He was like, no, it's super uncommon. Besides for the one guy that got struck seven times in his lifetime. Is he is he that unlucky, or is he just trying to get struck by is lightning? He put himself yeah, like, in the how wrong does spots? that happen? Actually, like, break that down. How does that happen? So the guy worked for, like, a national park. He was, like, a park ranger. Okay. So he was, like, constantly out. And then the park that he worked in, it wasn't, like, Yosemite, but it was, like, somewhere in, in like, California or something like that. But it's, like, the most struck place in, like, the country. Okay. No, so, like, you you put yourself in, like, a bad position you know bad, bad things are gonna happen <laughs> like get struck by lightning the dude gets struck by lightning seven times so i got a couple notes wait on is it. like he good yeah he's like i feel like that's a lot of i know like i've been like zapped by like a you know and then i'm like ow i didn't, or I didn't like that yeah I, i've heard of people getting struck once and they're just like fucked well they're either fucked or they're like just kind of like scared like, I don't want that. They're like, imagine they're you come again. home from work to your wife. How was work, honey? Well, I got struck by lightning again. again. <laughs> yeah. That's the Jesus, third time honey. this week. Jesus, honey, you just did last year. <laughs> I, I think like when you get struck once, you're more susceptible to it. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's don't think true that's at true. all, but people think... say that. I don't know how that works at all, but it's true. like you're more like grounded. I don't think that's true. I don't know. I think that's a bunch of. Oh, it could be though. Okay, so get this then. So the dude dies not from being struck oh, by lightning, okay. but he gets struck seven times. His tombstone gets struck three more times. No way. Why? No way. That's what people are saying. Are they lying? Yeah, I was like, what? Who? Wow, Here's that what is actually say. crazy. That's, I mean, there's something this, electric yeah. about that guy. Yeah, he's got it. Whatever <laughs> it is, That he's guy's got, got it. it. Your electric love. Baby, your electric love. That was nice. He, I think after the third one, Buddy was getting pretty conditioned to them. Dude, talk about the guy's right? trust issues. I'm saying, like, after he got struck, like, after the second one even, he was probably like, ah, it's not dope. 
not so bad. I bet people listening right now, somebody listening has been struck by lightning or like a family friend or relative Someone. or something, right? Leave a comment down below. What happens? Yeah. yeah. Mostly like if they're okay. I, I yeah. kind of, I just want to know if someone that you know has been struck by lightning. Uh, so I was doing some thinking the other day. Nice. As I do, I really sometimes. get deep. Sometimes, sometimes I think. Um, do you think snapping turtles were always mean? Or do you think they were just ugly and no one helped them across the road? Ever, you know, painted turtles always, everyone's like, oh, little turtle. And they get all excited. You see a snapper, you're like, fuck that thing. That is prehistoric. Kill it. Do you think snappers were just ugly and no one helped it? And then they got mean because no one helped them? I think it's genetic. And then they just started snapping everybody? I heard that. I heard you talking about this before and you're like, snapping turtles get a horrible bad rap. Yeah, they got a bad rap. No, I think snapping turtles aren't mean. They're just protective. Like, I don't think they're like, yeah, yeah but like, they're like, gr- like grumpy. I don't look at they them. They look as like they're grumpy. I'm right. sure. They, well, they, that's they, just their a- appearance. Yeah, they got RBFs, dude. They're, and then they bite you. You pick up another little painted turtle, you kiss it. I think, no, I think, I a, think a painted turtle, I think a painted turtle probably would try and bite you. They just don't have the same, like, jaw, and they're not as big. But I think a painted turtle probably would what try and bite you. What about a sea turtle? You. Well, big dudes are just cruising around, hundreds of years, chilling. Yeah, I What's don't What's up know. with snapping turtles? Why are they little bitches? That's a good question. Sometimes they're big. The, that's I, what I mean. There was more thought in this than you guys thought. A lot of... You think, I think it's just genetic. Like I personally... It's like, besides the fact that they can bite your fingers and toes off, I love snapping turtles. I think they're badass, honestly. They're the badass turtles. Oh, like like they ride Harleys and... Yep. Leather and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the criteria to be a badass. <laughs> No, I think they're like the badass. You got turtles. assless like, chaps. People kind of stay away from them because they're like, well, I'm not messing with those. It's like maybe a good rap for that, but. You also want to keep all your fingers and toes intact right. usually around them. Dude, I find myself, I don't mess with them, but I like can't just walk by one without being, I can't just go, oh, a snapping turtle. I, have I, to I go think that's like, like a serial killer trait. That's what I mean. Like, they're always getting fucked with. No, they tell but stories about how I their uncle snapping turtles like, yeah, oh. this one kid put a sticker on me and was poking me with a stick. They go, <laughs> my, my put trusting. a sticker on it. The- they, they just tell each other through their little turtle communications. Humans are assholes and they get bit. But that they- is, that's gotta be the worst part. They just get messed with because, yeah, like because they have a bad rep, they get messed with and sometimes killed for no reason. That's what I'm saying, dude. People are racist against snapping turtles. Yep. Exactly. For for what? Because they're different. Because they're mean. But maybe they're mean because they're different and because people are already mean to them. Do you so guys I'm saying, dude, what came first, the snap or the, the t- turtle? turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ryan, I don't know, man. See, I told you there was, I, I don't I know. Do I think thinking. there is something more to it. I don't know. I, I guess I just don't really have, like, anything right, so <laughs> <to add. laughs> i'm gonna be honest next, i got nothing for you bro next time we find a snapping turtle in a video because like it could be it's pretty common to see snapping turtles around here we should like do something for it something nice <laughs> <laughs> funny you know like the opposite of like most of the time when people see a snapping turtle especially when they have a camera they seem to fuck with it but we should do something nice for Start it. a birthday party or something like yeah like get get some lettuce or whatever i don't know what they eat to be honest we dude that up but what if we did that and then it was like, yo, kind of a, a movement? Yeah, people aren't that bad. It just stops snapping. That's, That's so what I'm yeah. saying, dude. We changed <laughs> snapping it, turtles. It brings snapping. its entire family out to meet us. Yeah. Oh. And then eventually in it buys us. Years, it buys us something nice, surprises us with something. That'd be nice. Brings Pay it us, forward. Brings us like a like a plastic bottle or something. Yeah. It, that's like a nice gesture in there. Exactly. And then eventually in like 50, 60 years, they'll start a whole movement and we'll take the snapping turtle name out and we'll right. call it like a just a turtle. smiling turtle or something, you know? Something nice. We'll just call it a quick turtle because those things are quick. They are quick. Bro, people listening right now are like, what the fuck are they on? Just be like, all right, time to turn <laughs> it off. Do you guys uh, believe in dinosaurs? Because I did up until, I mean, I'm not saying I don't. I dinosaurs did, I a dinosaurs belief system? I, right. So we're <laughs> people, watching. Hold the, up. Do people not believe in dinosaurs? We're watching the new Jurassic Park and Sydney goes, you know that like believing in dinosaurs is a conspiracy, right? And I was like, I never thought about it that way. 
you know, you're taught about dinosaurs and all this. And I'm like, I actually never thought about it this way. But there's like fossils and shit. The fossils is what like gives it away. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like there's only this historical right. artifact. No, it's the, like, do you believe in cars? Right. No, like, but, no so I don't the, believe. These are the same people that think the earth is flat. Right. But the fossils definitely give it away. But other than that, no one has seen a real dinosaur. Because there wasn't cameras back. Because there wasn't people. It's like everything. Just Frick eventually. The cameras. There wasn't people. Like, no one has seen a real dinosaur. You know what's wild, too? Not to get off topic, but, like, how certain stories just don't go, like, generation to generation. Like, why isn't there a story in my family bloodline from the 1500s? It's true. Like, you just don't hear stories besides for Ryan being a descendant of Walt Disney. Because maybe it's they were buddies, and it was also Kansas City. Sorry, that I said fucking South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's no, not but something you, you like know, monumental enough. I guess. Like what I would think, I, they I had guess. to? There had to have been one thing in their lifetime that was like something, and then that gets passed on like generation to generation. Because you don't ever listen to your grandpa's war stories. He, he just starts talking, and you go, oh, "But grandpa's. he's just talking about his like right. war stories." I know, but like, that's what I mean. Because he. Probably forgot, and then you listen to him, and you go, oh, "I don't care about what the fuck he did." And then you never tell your kids about how. Right. I think Grandpa that's kind of like how it is. It, as sad as that is or how that sounds, is like they tell you something and you're like, oh, yeah. And you kind of have it in your memory. Oh, yeah, Grandpa did this. But it's like not something you're just stoked to tell your kids. You just forget about it over Unless time. Unless like. there's an epic story and it's different. But I like the way you looked at that. Like mm -hmm. it would be sweet to know about even what your 10 generations back, great, 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 great grandparents even did. I, yeah, I think I think living. we're starting to like change, right? Like that kind of thing is going to change now that like video cameras are <laughs> very true. mass produced. Well. They're everywhere, right? Like as long as you can still have that file format, like in the future, that is something that can like preserve stuff from today. Whereas like fifty years ago, something can happen and you can just disappear it. Maybe it, yeah, right. Disappear it. Disappear. disappear it. Also, uh, it is funny, like the way you said that. Like the f if the file format's still compatible, like can you imagine just MP4? Well, that's like fucking CD. Well, can you imagine if somebody just went on YouTube and just went, "Yo, let's just clear all this shit. Let's Bro. just let's just go on, Dump wipe it. it. Let's just take a magnet to the server, dude. Well, fellas, what a pod. Ken's balls and all. It's been real. Bit Ken's of a random one, you know. Like the only it was thing funny, that made though. sense to me so was funny. Ken's balls. If you guys uh, go to the grocery store, make sure to <laughs> check out the Clementine <laughs> aisle. Send in a oh picture to Ken gosh. about it. Take Ken. In a See what? Oh, God. Uh, I, yeah. I, I could talk about it for all day, man. Thanks. All right. See you guys. All right. Thank later. you, you guys for later. watching and listening. And subscribe if you have not already. Peace. Please.